Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning English Pro. Today I have a fantastic topic for all you aspiring sewing enthusiasts out there. We're diving into the world of sewing tools and by the end of this video you'll be able to confidently identify and understand some key sewing tools and their uses. And don't forget the complete word list for this video is in the description below. So if you're ready, let's get started. First up we have the needle. A needle is a slender pointed tool used for sewing fabric. Needles come in various sizes and types, depending on the type of fabric and project you're working on. Needle. Next we have thread. Thread is a thin strand of material used to sew or stitch fabrics together. It's essential to choose the right thread for your project to ensure durability and a polished finish. Thread. And the needle and thread are commonly referred to together. Someone might say, I need a needle and thread. When we attach the thread to the needle, we call this act threading the needle. The eye of the needle refers to the small hole at one end of the needle. It's where the thread is inserted before sewing. The size of the eye varies depending on the needle type and its purpose. A spool is a cylindrical device used to hold and dispense thread. It's designed to keep the thread neat and organized, preventing tangles during sewing. Spools come in various sizes and materials, such as plastic or wood. Spool. Let's move on to our next tool, which is the scissors. Scissors are a must have tool for any sewing project. They're used to cut fabric, thread, and other materials with precision. The term scissors is an example of a plural singular noun. In English, some nouns appear to be plural in form, but are treated as singular when referring to as a single object or item. Scissors is one such example. While it might seem like a plural word due to the S at the end, it is commonly used to refer to a single cutting tool with two blades for shearing. Let's move on and next up we have pins. Pins are small pointed objects that hold fabric layers together while sewing. They come in handy to keep your fabric in place and prevent shifting as you stitch. Pins. A seam ripper can help you when mistakes happen. It's a small tool designed to remove stitches and seams, allowing you to correct errors without damaging the fabric. Seam ripper. A thimble is a protective cap worn on the finger while hand sewing. It helps push the needle through tough fabric and prevents needle pricks. Thimble. Accurate measurements are crucial in sewing. A tape measure is a flexible tool used to measure fabric, ensuring your creations fit perfectly. Tape measure. Pressing your fabric is a vital step to achieve professional looking results. An iron and an ironing board help you smooth out wrinkles and create crisp seams. Iron and ironing board. For larger projects and faster stitching, a sewing machine is a game changer. It automates the sewing process and comes with various stitches to choose from. Sewing Machine The bobbin is a small spool that holds the lower thread in a sewing machine. It works together with the upper thread to create strong and even stitches. Bobbin The presser foot is the part of the sewing machine that holds the fabric in place as you sew. Different presser feet are used for various sewing techniques. Presser foot. A fabric marker is a temporary tool used to mark fabric for cutting, stitching, or other design elements. It easily washes away after your project is complete. Fabric marker. We also have the tailor's chalk. This is a versatile marking tool used in sewing and garment construction. It's a soft waxy substance shaped into a chalk-like stick available in various colors. 
and like the fabric marker, it's used to temporarily mark fabric with lines, dots or symbols. Taylor's Chalk Creating even hems is a breeze with a hem gauge. It's a measuring tool that helps you fold and press helms accurately for a professional finish. Hem Gauge A pin cushion is a small cushion where you can store your pins and needles. It keeps your work area organized and helps prevent accidental pricks. Pin Cushion Last but not least, we have the seam gauge. This is a ruler-like tool with a sliding marker. It's used to measure and mark consistent seam allowances for precise stitching. Seam gauge. And there you have it, a comprehensive list of essential sewing tools vocabulary. Learning these terms will not only help you understand sewing tutorials and patterns, but also enable you to embark on your sewing journey with confidence. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from Learning English Pro. Happy sewing and remember, keep learning English like a pro.